about our right and our security, our safety. For years, Rohingya leader Mohibullah regularly received death threats and predicted he would be killed. Like many other Rohingya refugees, Mohammed Qasim says he feels devastated. For years now, we've been watching and following Mahibullah. He was a gem to us and has done so much for us, but we couldn't save him. He took our case to the global community to seek justice for us. Mohibullah came to prominence when he was chosen to represent his community on a visit to meet then US President Donald Trump at the White House and attend a UN Human Rights Council session in Geneva in 2019. This is the place where Rohingya community leader Mohibullah was shot dead Wednesday night. There's an uneasy calm prevailing in the camp and a heavy presence of security. Rohingya refugees are worried and anxious to find out who is behind the killing. A funeral was held for Mohibullah inside the camp. Among those there, his wife and eight children. He left me with so much responsibility. I am devastated. How can I manage the family now? It's a difficult road ahead. I am scared to live here now. We need security. He is dead now. Only Allah can give us justice. Police say the murder was well planned. All police units are involved in resolving this case and finding the motive behind it. We got some important information today and detained a suspect. Hopefully, we will resolve this case soon. In recent months, the Office of the Refugee Relief and Repatriation Commissioner has severely restricted media access to the Cox's Bazar refugee camp, making it difficult to gather news. But it's clear many refugees feel fearful and angry. We're very worried about his killing. He was a leader in the community. He pleaded our cause to the world. Many who did not want to be identified on camera told Al Jazeera that the murder is the latest example of a fight for power between armed gangs inside the world's largest refugee camp. Tanvir Chaudhry, Al Jazeera, Kutupalong, Cox's Bazaar.